beginning of a long weekend in Croatia, which ends on Tuesday with the Feast of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. Many people are on the road, with moderate to heavy traffic on all major routes to and from the coast. There is some congestion at the Luchko toll booth near Zagreb. Waits at border crossings are between 10 minutes to one hour. The Pula Maliloshin Zadar catamaran is not operating. All other ferries and catamarans are on schedule. There has been another case of food contaminated with salmonella. The Ministry of Agriculture has reported that it is pulling all fresh eggs from the market produced by the Petrichevich company from Stari Mikonovci. The eggs were produced between July 27th and August 7th and sold in Boso, NTL Istok, Interspar, Nadalina and Rama stores. Meanwhile, eggs from the Ecoplas producer in the Netherlands that were placed on the market by BioVega and were preventively pulled from Croatian stores yesterday have proven to be safe to eat after an analysis. More than a million eggs from the Netherlands were pulled from European markets due to suspicion of the presence of the dangerous pesticide Fipronil. Minister of State Property Goran Maric has commented on his Facebook account that the postponement of the implementation of a new property tax. Maric said that he still thinks the same about the tax and his standpoint hasn't changed. He did say that he understands that people are sensitive to every change regarding taxes, noting that he has always been for tax reliefs and not tax burdens. Dalmatia has not seen rain since May. The Croatian Waters Agency is not expecting problems in the near future, noting that an irrigation program is being implemented into which significant funds have been invested. They said that water reserves, especially reserves of underground water, currently satisfy all public water supply needs, and problems should not be suspected. The state of affairs in Imoski, Knin and surroundings is critical, while areas near the Neretva and Cetina rivers are stable. In the fifth round of play in the Croatian Football League, Rijeka suffered their first home loss in 43 games. Last night, they were defeated by Dinamo 2-0. Fernandez scored both goals. He had some luck with the first goal. Although he missed the ball, it bounced off his foot into the net. The second goal came with a penalty shot after a Rijeka player touched the ball with his hand. As of the 59th minute, Dinamo was down a man after Czech player Letsjaks received a second yellow card. Rijeka then had two chances where they hit the goalposts but not the net. In last night's other match, Hajduk defeated Slaven Belupo in split. The only goal was scored by Ohanza in the 62nd minute. The win has pushed Hajduk into second place with three points less than leaders Dinamo. Today, Lokomotiva faces Osijek and Inter plays host to Istra 1961. The Croatian basketball team continues with preparations for the Eurobasket competition, which begins at the end of the month. After winning the tournament in France, defeating the host nation and Lithuania, tonight they face Slovenia in Opatia at 6 p.m. The afternoon forecast calls for cloud coverage with rain and showers to spread to the majority of the country. Showers may be more prominent in places. The most sunshine is expected in the southernmost part of the country, which will see the least rain. A moderate northerly and northwesterly wind will blow in the interior. The Bora wind on the northern Adriatic will spread to the central coast. A moderate to strong northwesterly will blow on the open sea. Seas will be slight to moderate with reduced visibility in places due to rain. During the afternoon, temperatures in the interior will range between 21 and 26 degrees, reaching up to between 25 and 31 degrees on the coast. Weather should calm in the interior tomorrow with a noticeably cooler morning. There will be moderate cloud coverage, but mainly without precipitation and an occasionally moderate northerly wind. Partly to mainly sunny on Monday and Tuesday with temperatures gradually increasing. Partly to mainly sunny on the coast tomorrow, but windy with a moderate to strong Bora wind that will reach gale force at the foot of the Velobit mountain. Moderate to strong northwesterly winds are expected on the open sea. Mainly sunny, very warm and hot on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, the Bora and northwesterly winds will weaken. Thank you.